This is Damon Melcher. This is Food Journey Striper. For uh, the, about the last three years, I've been told when you clean a, a striper, you got to cut all the red meat out. And about a month or so ago, I was with Brad Taylor with Taylor Outdoors on Lake Murray in South Carolina, in Columbia, South Carolina. And you may have seen the video, but what he did, he called it on the half shell. And what that was, when he cleaned the, the striper, he just left it on the, on the, the skin. And he said he grills it that way. I said, what about the red meat? He said, when you catch it fresh and you don't freeze it, it's a, it's good. So I thought, you know, we're here on Lake Cameron today. We caught a couple of nice stripers. So I'm going to give this a shot. And we did. And I'm going to tell you what, amazing. Absolutely <laughs> incredible. And I've got two witnesses here to try it. Now, they don't have anything to compare it to other than the smallmouth bass that we caught. But having eaten enough striper, I'm telling you, try it if you like it awesome if you don't you know don't do it again but check this out so here's what we got right there we have a we have striped bass and a uh, smallmouth and there's nothing that was picked out of this and the red meat we cooked it just right incredible so this is charlie rouse and dewey acres hey guys hey guys all right now, have you had striper before? I have one time, but many years ago, but I've never had it on the half shell. All right. Now, did you clean it or was someone doing it for you? Uh, someone did it for me. All right. So the red meat, maybe, maybe not. You don't know because well, you, you don't just like what you had. Okay. You ate the red meat. And I'm telling you, from what I've been told and what I've been doing for years, I cut all that out. Did, what did you think about eating it on the half shell? I thought it was very moist and tender and it just gave a good flavor without a fishy, a fishy taste. It didn't have it. Now, Dewey, what about you? No, it's good. Yeah, yeah. No, no fishy taste. And something else these guys were asking, how does this compare to bass or the smallmouth in their case? How did, when you compared the striper to the bass, did you like bass, uh, the striper or the bass? You know, the bass tasted okay, but the striper is a lot better. I, yeah, liked, it, I, I liked it a lot better. I, I agree. What about you? Do you yeah, feel the, the same stri way? striper's got better flavor. So I'm telling you, if you have an opportunity to catch striper and you've been cleaning it that way, try it on the half shell. And what Brad Taylor with Taylor Outdoors said, don't freeze it. That That's the key. Some about the oils and the separation and whatever, I, I don't know. All I know is we caught it. We cleaned it, we cooked it, and it was very good. So, fresh. yeah, like my favorite is, like Dewey said, fresh. My uh, old saying is fresh, uh, but not frozen. It's right on the grill. Try it out. Striper bass with the bloodline, the red meat. Have a great day.